Hey drum enthusiasts, Joe here with another drum tips video for you. Um, this one was kind of a request. I had somebody asking about how to get the best uh, double bass feel and uh, develop your technique for it. So I wanted to make a little video to show him. So how I was told to set up my kick drum first of all was to kind of tilt it backward. So you'll notice that my foot's not, it's not actually touching the ground here, so there's space. Sorry, it's a little dark, but there's space. I have the front tilted up off the ground, and it is leaning back. You see, there's a, there's a bit of an angle there. Uh, the reason for that is I noticed when I was first, uh, when I was first playing, you know, drums, that you can get this, it's, it was kind of hard for my, my beater to make contact with the head. It was getting this, like, overreach thing. Like, it was it was passing the point of where it should hit, and in that, that way you lose a lot of power. You don't want the beater to travel have to travel too far to make contact with the head, so that way you can m maintain momentum and keep, keep time, like you're supposed to do. You're the drummer. You're supposed to be keeping time. So, by tilting... By tilting the drum backwards, so I'm trying to get in here for you. You'll see that it gives a. What the hell's going on? You'll see that it gives a. There's a, a a less distance the beater has to travel to hit the head, and it's it's straight up. It's not overreaching and striking the head. So you're gonna have a lot more consistency with your hits. You're gonna have a lot more power in your strokes. You're gonna be able to keep a tighter uh, roll. Now I'm not a bass, double bass expert. I'm actually now just getting pretty good at it. I'm, I can't play death metal or anything like that, but I'm being able to keep the rolls going and it's largely in part due to this kind of setup. Now my springs, I don't have them super tight or anything. I kind of like them a little more relaxed. I like to be able to flick the beater a little more and not have it be so uh, twitchy. So you set that up however you feel like you want to set it up. Try to keep them both at the same distance up front as you should. I had to a little further back. But I think this setup will help you if you've been having trouble with your double bass technique. I mean, give it a try. See if it works for you. It's worked a hell of a lot for me. Um, and the way, I have another video that talks about this, but in the way I tune my heads, my back, my beater head here, is almost dead completely. I don't tighten it too much. Maybe a turn and a half to two turns on each uh, lug here. That's about it. My front head is tightened to pretty much the max. Um, that gives it a much deeper uh, sound and it, it's it's just all around better. It's not tinny sounding. It's, it's very boomy and but tight. Not, in the, not like uh, you have a 26 or anything, but you know it's, it gives it a much better sound. A professional drummer who I won't say told me this uh, to do this, and it has helped tremendously. I get I get a very large amount of compliments on my bass drum sound at live shows. I'll be playing tomorrow in uh, at Lyrics in uh, Pennsylvania, so uh, maybe I'll see some of you there. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it.